My name is Jason Meredith. I work for a company called Thompson & Associates. We are a uh, consulting firm based out of Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, what we do is we work with nonprofit organizations across the United States. Thompson & Associates is a consulting firm. Uh, the best way I can describe what we do is we provide estate planning, education, and advice. In our process, when we work with individuals, um, we do not actually uh, draft estate planning documents. Um, we are here to provide estate planning education and advice. We're not drafting the actual documents. Um, I always liken what we do to that of an architect. So just pretend for a minute you were to go build a house. What would you do? You would have, first thing you have to have is you have to have blueprints or an architect design the plans for the house. And that architect's gonna decide and help you design where are the bedrooms and where are the bathrooms and where's the kitchen and the layout of the plan. Uh, and then once the architect has designed the plans, the homeowner is going to take those plans to their builder and the builder is going to build that house based on those plans. Now when the builder starts to build a house, the builder may look at those plans and may say something like, you know, the architect drew this wall to be five feet long, it really needs to be four feet long and it'll open up this archway and for whatever reasons, the architect, I mean the builder, has the flexibility to change some of the plans. As long as the house is still structurally sound, the builder has some leeway. Um, the builder is uh, helping the client decide things like, are we going to have wood floors or tile floors, or granite countertops or, lam or laminate countertops, Whirlpool or GE appliances. All these are all decisions that the homeowner is working through with their builder. They're not making all of those, those decisions with the architect of the estate plan of, of the house. So we like to, to kind of view ourselves as the architect of the estate plan. We're designing an estate plan from a, from a 30,000 foot view. We're really trying to help the client understand the ideas behind the estate plan, um, concepts, how to kind of put it together, how to piece it together, but we are not getting into the actual drafting of the estate plan and the small decisions that need to be made that go into the final drafting of the documents. We want, when, when the client finishes our process, we're going to hand them a set of recommendations. It'll be a, a spreadsheet with numbers showing how much is gonna to go to heirs and, and, and taxes and things. It'll be a written narrative explaining the concepts and the ideas that we're talking about. But we want our client to take those recommendations, like taking a blueprint to a builder, we want our client to take those recommendations to their attorney to actually draft those documents and implement the plan. So um, while, while I am an attorney, I'm not taking the place of their attorney. We want, the, we want our, our planning clients to work with their local counsel. And uh, we want to be another team member, just another person on the, on the estate planning team to help that client to develop the best estate plan we can for them and their family. There are certain things that we do and there are certain things that we don't do. Uh, first of all, our process is free of charge to the individuals that we're working with. It is uh, the foundation pays for us to be here on a monthly basis, but the individuals, individuals we work with don't pay anything. Uh, our process is confidential. I think that's, that's a very, very important part of what we do. Uh, anything that I, if I'm working with a planning client, anything that we talk about stays between the client and myself. That information is never shared with anybody on staff at Riverside. Um, uh, it's never shared with anyone outside of that room unless the client wants us to share that information. Um, the, uh, we don't have any products to sell or any services to sell. Uh, we don't manage money. Uh, basically, we, the, we are here for one sole purpose, and that is to help the client develop the, and design the best estate plan we can for them and their family. A good day for me at Thompson Associates and working here at Riverside is, is getting to meet new clients, learning about them, learning about their family, uh, and really helping that client design an estate plan that's tailored to their goals and their objectives. What are the things that keeps a client up at night? What do they worry about? And really help a client design an estate plan that's, that meets their goals and objectives, not just one that's designed around their numbers or their assets or their dollars, 
but but it has more more thought into it. And so that's the thing I really enjoy is helping clients achieve those goals and objectives. When I first meet with a new client in, in our process, uh, every client's a little bit different. Um, some clients have no estate plan at all. They, they have, they've never prepared a will, they've never thought about estate planning. Uh, and I have other clients to the other extreme who will bring in their estate plans and they're, they're 300 pages long of all of this stuff, binders full of estate planning. And uh, it's one of the very first things we try to do for our clients is really help them review what they currently have. Either if they don't have an estate plan or don't have any kind of will in place, we want to make sure our clients understand well, what would happen. What would happen if you were to pass away today with no will at all? What would be the result? And a lot of clients are very surprised at what the result would be. Sometimes we may have a, a married couple that just assumes, well, if one of them passes away, the assets will pass to their surviving spouse. Or maybe if they both pass away, they just assume everything will pass on to their children. And that's not always correct. So we really try to help clients understand what would be the result of your current estate plan, the result of your current will. Um, a lot of times, like I said, they'll come in and they'll have a, a 200 page estate plan. And they think everything's just buttoned down in perfect, perfect form. And part of our process is reviewing those documents. And we'll review them and we'll say, hey, okay, it looks to me or it appears to me that this is what's happening. And sometimes the client will say, well, no, that's not right. That's not what's, what's supposed to happen. Well, we'll look through the documents again and sure enough, that's what it says. And a lot of times we find clients that are surprised. They'll say, well, wait a minute, that's just not right. That's not how the attorney explained it to me. That's not how I understood it, but that's actually what is happening. And so again, I think part of our process is helping clients understand where are you now and what would be the result either with no will or your current will. A lot of times it has to do with taxes, but we, we will introduce some concepts and show clients how, you know what, you have a choice. You can either pay these tax dollars to the federal government or you could redirect some of those tax dollars to a charity of your choice. Any charity, one charity, two charities, three charities, but the basic concept of saying, hey, I would rather redirect my taxes into society in the way I want to, rather than giving them to the federal government. I would rather redirect my tax dollars to charities of my choice and know how they're gonna be used rather than going straight to Washington, D.C. So we'll talk about concepts uh, along those lines also. If you have found this information um, interesting or if you would, in, would like more information on our process, uh, if you would like to go through our estate planning process, we would encourage you to contact the Riverside Healthcare Foundation and they can schedule a time for us to meet.